guys, Zoe here. I am taking a break from my um, Christmas off the page series. Um, I wanted to do some normal scrapping. I missed it terribly. Anyway, um, I have just literally in the last couple of days bought a Silhouette Cameo 3. Oh, actually, Alex bought me a Silhouette Cameo 3. It's for Christmas. So, I used the... Um, Oh, the stag cross stitch is from the Silhouette um, design store and it's a cut file by Felicity Jane um, and I'm using the Felicity Jane um, November kit I think it is um, so I thought that was perfect to pair them together so although the stag is a cut file I thought since it's a cross stitch stag I'm going to cross stitch it. Now this is entirely inspired by Paige Evans who's been cross stitching everything and she is freaking amazing at it. And I thought, you know, ah, how hard can it be? Turns out quite hard. Yeah. Or at least not hard, it's just, it's very time consuming. It's very time consuming, so I'm going to magically appear with it all done. Ha <laughs> ha! I think that took me maybe, oh gosh, an hour? It, it was quite a while. Um, they don't tell you your fingers hurt either. I did not expect that. Anywho, um, oh my god, this kit is just, oh, I love it. Um, this beautiful dotty sort of um, polka dot on charcoal is actually a sort of... Um, a knit print, a uh, really really faint sort of cable knit print. Um, so I thought I would cut small strips from these and the peach, uh, peachy tone pinky paper that I've just cut the, uh, no, that I have, uh, slow down, slow, I have just cropped, <laughs> I have just cross stitched the stag onto. Ah, there we go. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Ah, so the peachy pinky paper that I cross stitched the stag onto, I've cut little strips from and also from the cable knit um, polka dot. And again, I have just cross stitched right down the centre of those two pieces of paper. Just so that I've got that, um, that cross stitch um, a uh, texture in three elements on the page. So I'm using a 4x4 um, a four four black and white photo of my son and I. I'm scrapping a lot with black and white at the moment. I find it's so much easier because everything matches, which I know, I know it's kind of cheating, but eh, I, I don't mind that. Um, this um, striped paper is actually from the Essentials Extra paper pack um, and the dot is just the dotty paper, it's just the other side of that paper. So I'm just creating a small um, cluster of, um, no not cluster, a small <laughs> paper layering cluster thing. Oh. Goodness me, I am terrible today. I cannot get words out at all. Um, so when I'm creating a paper layer, generally I just, especially when it's a very tight one like this, I simply just make sure the corners don't line up. It's really, really simple. Um, and I like to have, if I'm having a stripey paper, I will only have the one. Um, and if it's a thin stripe, I don't necessarily mind having a larger stripe. If I've got a dot, I prefer not to have a second dot. That sort of thing, really. <clears throat> so I've lined it onto some vellum as well. And now I'm just lining it up with the um, peachy toned paper to make sure it's um, going to sit where I want it to. And you can see I've set it just slightly off centre because I know that I'm going to add this um, gingham print strip to the uh, left hand side. I'm just using my Muji uh, Mama Muji pen to draw a rough um, frame. <coughs> Excuse me, around the peach paper, just to give the stag a little grounding. It felt 
a little like it was floating. I love these puffy alphas. <gasps> I really love puffy alphas, but these are so cute because they're skinny. Skinny puffy alphas, yes. So I'm just going to play around with my title a little bit. Um, the title is going to be Baby It's Cold Outside because what else would it be? And I'm going to play around with its placement a little bit because I know <clears throat> that I want to cross-stitch the cold, um, the puffy cold onto the layout. So I'm just um, fiddling and thinking about where I want that to go and I decide that I would like it to cross over most of the stag paper and a little of the photo. And I'm just playing with the um, cut parts that came with the kit, finding some elements that I'd like to use. Now I pull out quite a few here and I do not end up using them all. I just like to have a little play around and see um, what might work and what won't work with what I'm doing. And I know I definitely want to use the beautiful acetate stag with the gingham print, which is why I have the gingham strip over in the left hand side because I know I want to put that gingham stag on there as well. I love those acetate hearts as well. I just love this kit. Can you tell? Can you tell? I just, I love it. I love everything in it. I, I just, oh, I love it. It is so, so me. Um, just, yes, yes. So I'm going ahead and committing to the placement of um, this layout and I know I'm going to put some of the washi behind um, this peachy paper um, to give it another layer sort of behind it. So I'm just using the back of my tweezers here to ruffle up and rough up all the edges of my papers, which I like to do because um, I'm not using <clears throat> too many paper layers. I think it adds a huge amount of texture um, and depth without adding much more bulk into your layers. And I'm going to fiddle with this next piece before I remember that actually it's easier to pull washi under a layer than it is to push it and to just turn your paper around so you're full. <sighs> mess, mess, mess. And then look, look, pull it in. It takes like a second. Ta -da! Done. <laughs> um... So, oh, um, ooh, ooh, ooh. yes, I haven't, um, lots of things planned actually, um, I've been asked if I will do a face-to-face -face Q&A, which I think would be a good idea, so if you've got any questions for me, you can leave it, them down below, but I will put out a little, um, small little video asking for questions as well. Um, I have a few ideas for things I'm going to be doing after my off the page series is done so yeah I've got lots of things planned I'm feeling really enthused and you guys gave me the best welcome back to scrapping and I, I'm just I'm, I'm awash with the uh, support and love from you all you're, you're absolutely amazing um, <clears throat> and I, I can't wait to um, to show you what else I've got in in my sleeve up my sleeve <laughs> Apparently none of the things that I have in my sleeve will be talking properly because, uh, yeah, that's beyond me. I can't do that. So, um, eh, if you're after um, sense, perhaps not the channel for you. <laughs> so I'm just using that gingham piece to create another tab that I can layer behind the um, little sort of aqua blue tab I've already added there. I think that says, this has my heart, I think. And I know I, <clears throat> I don't actually have aqua elsewhere in the layout, but I am okay with that because it's so pale. It's nice just to have that little pop of um, a different colour. Um, I'm just using this little sheet of red foam that's going to sit um, underneath my layout when I... Oh, 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 that jumped. Oh, I, um, this is another strip from the cut apart. It's a little sort of um, heart um, print. And I'm just using it because my lettering was getting lost in that deep um, stripe of the washi tape. So I used it to ground my title just a little bit um, so that it would have a white background rather than the, 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 
deep stripe. Um, I apologise for my hair there, leaning forward. I'm going through so many layers with my uh, pokey tool was actually really quite difficult. So I'm going to cut this out because it took a while. Um, and I'm just going to show you the one cross, as it were, and I will pop, <laughs> pop it back as by magic when it's all <laughs> done. <laughs> because yeah, yeah, people do this for fun. I don't know. I don't know. I love the look of it, and I will do it again because I really do love the look of it. But yeah, it's not fun. I do not find it fun. No, 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 no. Interesting fact, my husband, my husband let me know that he used to cross stitch when he was younger. I did not know that, but it was fun to find out. Um, so you can see I've um, changed the placement of the outside portion of the title. Um, I actually preferred it just clustered together like that rather than spread out a little bit more. And I know I want my beautiful gingham stag to go <laughs> down in that bottom right corner. I'm just fiddling with these as oh firing acetate hearts across the um the page there. I'm just checking to see if the acetate piece has a backing um a protective backing. If it has, I can't find it, so I've just stapled it down anyway. I'm just turning that um little tab there into more of a tab shape and stapling it on my tiny attacher. I do so love that thing. My tiny attacher gets so much work. And again, just scuffing and ripping the papers a little bit on the peach paper so that I can add a little tab behind. I'm using my staples just to add a little interest, really, and to hold those um, torn pieces back. Um, using my Mama Muji pen again just to add a little faux framing behind everything because it'll add another visual layer when you're looking at it even though there's nothing there which um, <coughs> is a really clever a clever little trick to adding um, another layer even when you don't have one I'm just mooching through my roller stamp collection I think I pick um, the Maggie Holmes Shine roller stamp I think it is uh, I think that's a Studio Calico um, stamp. I'm going to just pop the date in the bottom left corner of the peachy paper just because it feels a little open for my tastes. <clears throat> it feels like it's so much more clustered in the other four quadrants of that um, grid. It just felt a little, um, a little too open space. So I'm going to use Parker ink uh, which is a calligraphy ink um, with a paintbrush because I want big droplets, huge, big splodges. Um, for no other reason than it pleases me. <laughs> I just, I don't do massive splodges very often, but I think visually they can be so, so pretty um, and they can add so much interest to um, what is otherwise an uncluttered layout, I think. I'm just soaking up a little of the excess there with some tissue, being sure not to um, <clears throat> press down on a piece I'd already used, otherwise you're going to put yourself a little stain instead. And if you have eagle eyes, you will see I've added a little tab above the tab in the bottom left, the bottom right corner, because I leant on it with an inky, inky hand and gave myself a splodge down there. So I just added another tab simple and easy. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.